Hello and welcome to the alternate reality of Granny Mazikeen. <laughs> um, so this is going to be really quick. Um, I'm actually cooking, but um, I got Mazikeen moved into, you know, like I had her added to the gallery. I moved her into this house. So this is in the same save as Sethel. As Piper, um, as my starter werewolf pack, and I feel like I'm missing one other family. But anyway, ultimately, it's the save where I did the seven infant challenge with Sethel. So I've moved Mazakin, now Granny Mazakin. Even though none of her grandkids, to give her that title, are in this universe. Well, you know what? I take that back. They are in this universe. Some of them I did move into the save. But I haven't given her that relationship with them. So she does have a relationship with her mom. So... Her mom and dad from the original save are here. Um, she does have the relationship with her brother and younger sister, who is supposed to be a younger version of actually the actual Sethel. Um, so, in the game, Sethel is her sister, you can see that. Um, but why they don't have the line together is because Sethel is only the daughter of Lily in this save. I don't know why I never added um, Lucerus as her father, but that's why they don't have, when you go back to just Mazakin, she doesn't have a line connecting all of them together but they are sisters so anyway it's a little fun thing so obviously uh, Sethel has all these kiddos and you know that makes her half sister but anyway just letting y'all know that I added her into this save and have started giving her relationships with the people that she should actually know. Uh, Bacon is not in this save. I didn't add him until... I didn't add them together until I had already moved her into the, into the 100 baby save world. So... That's why Bacon isn't here, but I do plan on adding Bacon or just like creating another version of Bacon. <laughs> Maybe I'll call him Spam. <laughs> or Tomato. Or Lettuce. Maybe he'll be green. Green is one of Mazakin's favorite colors. Come here, sweetie. But anyway, this is going to be a short one because I am in the middle of cooking. Um, <laughs> I'm baking, so that's why, you know, I can play the game because I'm baking. So nothing is going to burn up, not cooking on the stove at the moment. But anyway, so she is also um, a doctor in this reality, and that's just because she had already had that career, so I didn't, uh, I haven't changed it yet. I might change it later, I'm not sure, but anyway. Yes, sweetie. So, anyway, this is the house. Um, I guess, like, I only did, like, a 
a photo view from the gallery. I didn't actually go into the house the last time. So this is the bedroom. Do, 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 do. So this is the bedroom. It's already a little bit dusty. We've been living here. Um, yes. And here you go, sweetie. You're welcome. So anyway, the bedroom, I have her little media studio in here. Bathroom. Um, this was the little entryway. I don't know why I put a Christmas tree here. Like, this entire space was random. So, yeah. The kitchen is like a little gallery kitchen. So... Let me move that so they can actually get into the kitchen without issues. So you can see when I was making it, like I did have bacon in mind or future lettuce in mind. And like there's stuff here for him. And here's another little bathroom. This is a Murphy bed, of course. And then like a little living room. So this is like a dining room office. The cauldron is there just because I think you can cook stuff in it and it'll like, it won't spoil or it'll take longer to spoil because it's technically always being heated. So that's why that's there because I need to test that theory. Um... Yeah, so that's pretty much the first, or technically the only floor, since the top is a roof. Um, but yeah, so I might need to hire a gardener, I don't know. A gardener that's not afraid of heights. This is how these mushrooms randomly grow. I told you to pop off. But yeah, so up here, ah. let me bond with the bees a little bit Whoa. and finish raking these leaves. They were supposed to be calm. What did you do with them? Uh. So, anywho. <laughs> that is everything. Pretty much. I guess I didn't go about the outside. So, out here, there's the little hot tub. A TV under the patio. Which is how... Everything up here, it's not a patio. You know what I mean, platform. Which is how all these platforms got added in the first place, just because I wanted to put a TV out here and I wanted it to be undercover so it wouldn't have to be repaired every single time. And then I made like a little outdoor kitchen over here so she can get her grill on. Um, bacon can have places to lettuce can have a place to train play with their little toys sprinkler system because I still don't trust Mazakine to cook even though this stove is not supposed to be problematic I think she still set a fire with that stove <laughs> in the other house so, anyway, there's that. Um, you can go by yourself. I don't feel like going with you. So, anyway, like I said, really quick, um, I might go ahead and play the 100 Baby Challenge because... Because why? I might still play the 100 Baby Challenge later today. 
I didn't get to play it yesterday, but because I was having some downloading issues. But yeah. Either way, we will be getting back into the hunter baby. Here, baby. And something will be uploaded to that effect. But in the meantime, my timer is going off so I can go ahead and get my food out of the oven and then I'm going to air fry some broccoli because that's the only way my child will eat it. So I need her to have a vegetable on top of the other stuff that I'm cooking that she technically doesn't like. But she will eat a little bit of it as long as I have something on there that she recognizes, which is the broccoli. But anyway, buzzer is buzzering. So we will see y'all back in the 100 Baby Challenge. Bye.